Hi everyone, welcome back to another session of RBI 247, wherein we discuss finance current affairs that are relevant for SEBI and RBI exam. Let's get on with today's session. Today we have three very important news, especially new umbrella entities. We will understand what are new umbrella entities and also who are they going to be alternate of. SEBI launches information database on municipal bonds. Here we will discuss what are municipal bonds. RBI master directions on acquisition and holding of shares or voting rights in banking companies. So this is 2023 uh, RBI master directions, right? We're going to discuss this as well. Okay, so the first news is about new umbrella entities. So what has happened is there are certain basically six groups, companies like Facebook, Google, Amazon. So these companies have applied for license to the RBI to become new umbrella entities. And currently, RBI has put all the applications for licenses of this new E, NUE on hold. RBI ne sare licenses ko has, RBI has put them on hold, right? So RBI has put on hold all the licenses for NUE. Let's understand what is NUE, new umbrella entities. Okay, so before understanding NUE, we have to understand what is NPCI. So this is, again, I taught about NPCI in my previous video as well. So RBI along with Indian Banking Association brought out NPCI right under the Payment and Settlement System Act of 2007. So RBI and Indian Banking Association brought out NPCI under the Payment and Settlement System Act of 2007. What is the function of NPCI? So the basic function of NPCI is to manage and operate the digital retail payment system. The digital retail payment system. What is this retail payment system? It is nothing but when a retail customer makes a transaction or pays something to the merchant trader, right? So when you purchase a good or you uh, incur any service, right? So uske liye, if you're making a digital payment through UPI or you're swiping your card, let's say you go for shopping, right? And UPI se aap apni payment karte hai. That is nothing but digital retail payment system. So NPCI is responsible for managing, for seamless management and operation of the digital retail payment system in India, right? NPCI jo hai, it is a section 8 company, which means it is a not-for-profit organization under the Companies Act 2013. This was about NPCI. But now NPCI ke mein kyu pad rahe hai when we were talking about new umbrella entities. Right? So new umbrella entities will be alternate to NPCI. We have understood what is NPCI. Now we will understand what, what are NUEs. They are nothing but they will work as an alternate to NPCI. So NPCI for its management of retail payment system has brought out various products. So yeah, these are all the products that NPCI has brought out in India. So that retail payments, digital retail payments both easily ho jai and seamlessly ho jai. For example, Rupee card for very low value transactions, both online and offline. Bharat Bill Payment System. In my last video, I discussed what is Bharat Bill Payment System. It is for making bill payments, right? NACH Clearing House, National Automated Clearing House. It is for uh, bulk Payment, uh, for example, you know, when you pay interest or a dividend, when a company wants to pay a dividend or interest to a large number of banks account or beneficiaries. So, a large number of beneficiaries ke banks account mein jab payment jati hai, that is NACH. This is National Electronic Toll Collection, right, for toll collection. Check truncation system, MICR jo hota hai and other images of uh, checks are transferred from one bank to another. Isse pehle jo checks the, they used to go through physical, uh, you know, physically they used to travel between banks. So because of check truncation system, the checks hai, the information can travel from one bank to another seamlessly. NFS, this is for ATMs. Saki sare banks, jo hai, ATMs se connected ho sake. Aadhaar enabled payment system, like biometric, jo bhi hai, Aadhaar enabled, jo, aur usme jo biometrics hai aapke, that can be connected to your bank accounts and uske through payments can be done, right? And other services as well. Bheem, UPI, IMPS, these are all the products that are brought out by NPCI. Now, NPCI is currently the only organization that is working towards digital retail payment system. We have seen so products that NPCI has brought. Because of that, there is a lot of overburden on the NPCI. And also, to bring competition in the economy. NPCI is the only organization that is working 
towards retail, digital retail payment system. So to bring competition in the economy, RBI is bringing new umbrella entities into the picture. They will work as an alternate to NPCI. जो UPI transactions है, recently एक data आया था UPI transactions in the month of December only 7.8 billion transactions से भी ज़्यादा थे। I suppose that is the data. So UPI का burden बहुत ज़्यादा हो गया है on NPI. So for that new umbrella entities are going to be brought out as an alternate to NPCI. NPCI का थोड़ा information I've already given you. This is again an important information. So when NPCI was born, formed the core Promoter banks were these 10 promoter banks, right? In ke ilawa bhi, a lot of banks, small finance banks and other payment system, payment operators also have a share currently in NPCI. But these are core promoter banks, okay? SBI, Punjab National Bank, Canada Bank, Bank of Baroda, Union Bank of India and others. Yeh important information hai, it can be asked in your exam. Okay, so I've given a little information about rupee, like I said. Both offline and online transactions, especially low value transactions, debit or credit and prepaid cards ke through rupees se hoti hai. Another product of NPCI, Aadhaar Payment Bridge System. So government, jo apne beneficiaries, jo government schemes ke beneficiaries hoti hai, government can make digital, uh, I'm sorry, direct benefit transfers to all the beneficiaries of various state and central government schemes, right? So sare beneficiaries ko se, uh, jo ki schemes ke beneficiaries hain. Government makes direct benefit transfer to them through Aadhaar payment bridge system. Another product of NPCI. So, ye toh hume samaj aagya NPCI is overburdened currently and also to create more competition in the economy. Taki NPCI ki monopoly na bane. So, RBI, pehle to RBI brought a draft framework but now RBI has brought a framework for authorization of pan-India new umbrella entities for retail payment system. They will work as an alternate to NPCI. Now, what is new umbrella entities? These are entities that shall be incorporated in India. Right? So, Joby companies ne abhi uh, RBI ko license diya hai. Further, they will form new umbrella entities which will be incorporated in India. Right? If any foreign organization has given license to, uh, to RBI, this is in collaboration with an Indian organization. Okay? So, again, it can be a for profit or a Section 8 company. Like I said, it will work as an alternate to NPCI. So, new umbrella entity is an entity that will manage and operate the new payment system. Joby aage payment products will come up in future. They will, can be managed and operated by the NUE. For example, ATMs, POS, UP, UPI and not just this but other new payment system as well. Right? It will also manage clearing and settlement systems that could be an alternative to bank promoted NPCI. And also they are allowed to charge fees for transactions which currently NPCI is not doing. So currently NPCI is not charging any fees for transactions. But new umbrella entities can charge fees for transactions. Okay. I hope it is understood abhi tak everything. Okay. What is the purpose of NUE? I have already discussed. It will be a separate entity that could reduce the risk and overload on the UPI infrastructure and work as an alternate to NPCI, which is promoted by banks. Okay. Now, eligibility for NUE, new umbrella entities. This we will study most importantly in the promoter. Ke mein. See, certain individuals or banks can come together and form a promoter group for this new umbrella entity. Certain individual entities can come together to form promoter group. For and work as a promoter for new umbrella entities. Ab ye promoter kon honge? These will be promoters who hold more than 25% of the paid up capital of the NUE. Jo NUE form hoga. So any entity that has more than 25% share of the paid up capital of NUE shall be the promoter. Right? Let's see the eligibility of the promoter. So any entity which wants to apply as a promoter or promoter group needs to have a three year experience. Kis cheez ka three year experience? To work as a payment system operator or a payment service provider or a technology service provider. So if any entity is applying to become a promoter or a promoter group of this NUE, they should have a three year experience. Also, they should be, these entities should be owned and controlled by the residents and not non-residents. If any entity 
is applying to become the promoter or promoter group of this new umbrella entity firstly these have to be owned by the resident and they should have a three year experience as a payment service provider or a payment system operator or a technology service provider right okay कैपिटल की बात कर लेते हैं अगेन प्रमोटर के कैपिटल एनयूई के कैपिटल की यहां पे बात हो रही है तो पेड अप शेयर मिनिमम पेड अप शेयर कैपिटल शुड बी 500 करोड़ नो सिंगल प्रमोटर और प्रमोटर ग्रुप शैल हैव मोर देन 40 परसेंट इन्वेस्टमेंट इन द कैपिटल ऑफ अमरेला एंटिटी जो भी सिंगल सी इफ अ लॉट ऑफ एंटिटीज आर कमिंग टूगेदर लेट सपोज फोर फाइव एंटिटीज आर कमिंग टूगेदर टू बिकम प्रमोटर ग्रुप ऑफ दिस देन अ सिंगल प्रमोटर जो भी एक सिंगल प्रमोटर है या जो भी एक सिंगल एंटिटी है दे शुड नॉट होल्ड मोर देन 40 परसेंट इन्वेस्टमेंट इन द टोटल कैपिटल ऑफ एन यू ई ओके टॉकिंग अबाउट जब सेटअप कर रहे हैं वेन यू आर सेटिंग अप द अम्ब्रेला एंटिटी देन द प्रमोटर ग्रुप शुड ब्रिंग एटलीस्ट टेन परसेंट ऑफ द एन यू ई विच इज फाइव फिफ्टी करोड़ बिकॉज द मिनिमम पेड ऑफ कैपिटल हैज टू बी फाइव हंड्रेड करोड़ तो टेन परसेंट एट द टाइम ऑफ एप्लीकेशन और सेटिंग अप ऑफ द एन यू ई टेन परसेंट जो है इसका विच इज फिफ्टी करोड़ शुड बी ब्रॉड बाय प्रमोटर और प्रमोटर ग्रुप राइट अब ये फोर्टी परसेंट जो इन्वेस्टमेंट की बात हुई है दिस विल बी फर्दर रिड्यूज टू ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट डायल्यूटेड टू अ मिनिमम ऑफ ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट विद इन फाइव ईयर्स ऑफ फॉर्मेशन पांच साल के बाद आफ्टर फाइव ईयर्स the uh, it the shareholding should be diluted to 25% shareholding of these promoters promoter groups shall be 25% after 5 years of formation right so they have to reduce their shareholding in the new umbrella entities within 5 years and bring it down to 25% okay now fit and proper criteria samajh lete hain this is a criteria of rbi probably bahuto ko pehle se hi pata hoga a little information so when i was giving my mock interview for rbi this question was asked from me what is fit and proper criteria and at that time i didn't know what it was but i studied it after that mock te mock test ke baad mock interviews ke baad i studied about fit and proper criteria okay so this is an important criteria which is brought out by rbi right this criteria is for anybody who wants to be a promoter or a director of the promoter company or promoter group right somebody who wants to be a promoter or promoter group or director of the promoter company or the group company they have to follow a fit and proper criteria which means nothing but they have to be fit and proper to kuch guidelines rbi ne leke aaye hain about the fit and proper criteria which means jo bhi promoter banne ke liye apply karega they have to be fit and proper now what are these certain guidelines or certain points that they have to follow to be fit and proper to be a director or a promoter first one they have to have they have to be fair and have integrity right financial integrity good reputation good character and honesty basic to become a director other than that in addition to that there are certain disqualifications what which means ki if somebody is of financially un, uh, financially not sound or if somebody is on uh, of unsound mind then they are disqualified from becoming the promoter of nue so these are certain disqualifications for example if they have been declared insolvent by a certain court or they are convicted by a court of any offense involving moral turpitude ya koi economic offense kiya hai kisi ne they cannot be they are disqualified to be new umbrella entity okay again koi this training order hai unke against or they are barred debarred by the court to be a promoter tab bhi they are disqualified to be a promoter okay scope of activities basically jo ntci ki thi that is the same scope of activities for new umbrella entities set up manage and operate new payment system in the retail space and they can bring new products as well in the retail space digital retail space operate as clearing operate the clearing and settlement system for participating banks and non banks identify and management relevant risks see when digital transactions are involved there are certain risks like credit risk liquidity operational risks right so they have to identify and also manage these risks right also frame rules and related processes rules and guidelines jo bhi aayenge in further for any new products or even the existing products and also they can work with the ntci and the already uh, existing products of npci unke sath bhi they can work the new umbrella entities okay 
एंड ऑल्सो इंश्योर दैट द सिस्टम इज सेफ एंड साउंड लाइक ऐसे बहुत ज्यादा फ्रॉड एंड रिस्क इन्वॉल्व होते हैं सो दिस सिस्टम द न्यू पेमेंट सिस्टम शुड बी सेफ एंड साउंड दे हैव टू इंश्योर दैट ओके सो नाउ आर बी आई रिटेन द राइट टू अप्रूव द अपॉइंटमेंट ऑफ फर्स्टली द डायरेक्टर्स एंड ऑल्सो टू नॉमिनेट अ मेंबर ऑफ द बोर्ड ऑफ द न्यू अम्ब्रेला एंटिटीज और न्यू अम्ब्रेला एंटिटी का जो बोर्ड मेंबर होगा आर बी आई हैज द राइट टू अप्रूव दैट ओके अब एप्लीकेशन सो एनी एंटिटी हु वॉन्ट्स टू बिकम अ न्यू अम्ब्रेला एंटिटी हैज टू गिव एप्लीकेशन टू द आर बी आई फॉर लाइसेंस तो ये एप्लीकेशन इट विल गो टू ई ए सी फर्स्टली एक्सटर्नल एडवाइजरी कमेटी विच विल स्क्रूटिनाइज द एप्लीकेशन एंड फर्दर सबमिट द एप्लीकेशन टू आर बी आई राइट एंड आर बी आई विल टेक द डिसीजन Board of Regulation and Supervision of Payment and Settlement System will be the final authority on issuing authorization. Okay, this is everything about new umbrella entities. Next topic, SEBI has brought out informational database on municipal bonds. So, कुछ नहीं अभी very recently एक uh, I think on Sunday uh, very recently uh, there was a not a committee a workshop sort of thing that took place for municipal bonds. right operation of municipal bonds and municipal finances so a lot of stakeholders took part in this and in this a uh, database was launched this database was for municipal bonds right sebi municipal bonds database ab isme hoga kya let's understand that it will consist of various checklist so if anybody wants to issue municipal bonds there are certain criteria they have to follow there are certain checklists right there are certain letters certificates that they have to obtain टू इशू म्यूनिसिपल बॉन्ड्स बस इस डेटा बेस में यही सब इंफॉर्मेशन है दिस शैल कंसिस्ट ऑफ वेरियस चेकलिस्ट फॉर प्री लिस्टिंग रिक्वायरमेंट सैम्पल लेटर सर्टिफिकेशन फ्रॉम वेरियस इंटरमीडियरीज टू बी ऑप्टेन्ड बाय द इशूअर इफ एनीबडी वॉन्ट्स टू इशू म्यूनिसिपल बॉन्ड्स दे हैव टू ऑप्टेन सर्टन सर्टिफिकेट्स सैम्पल लेटर्स एंड हैव टू फॉलो सर्टन चेकलिस्ट प्रायर टू इशूइंग दिस इज एक्जैक्टली वॉट इज मैंशन इन द इंफॉर्मेशन डेटा बेस ओके ओके okay. एक बार देख लेते हैं व्हाट इज म्यूनिसिपल डेट सिक्योरिटी सो डेट सिक्योरिटीज इज अ ब्रॉडर टर्म एंड म्यूनिसिपल बॉन्ड्स उसके अंदर ही आता है डेट सिक्योरिटीज कवर्स अदर देन बॉन्ड्स एज वेल सो दीज आर नॉन कन्वर्टेबल डेट सिक्योरिटीज दीज आर नॉट कन्वर्टेबल बट नॉन कन्वर्टेबल डेट सिक्योरिटीज विच इंक्लूड्स डिबेंचर्स बॉन्ड्स एंड अदर सच सिक्योरिटीज विच विल क्रिएट अ डेट ऑन द इशूअर एनी सिक्योरिटी विच विल क्रिएट अ डेट राइट अक्नोलेज indebtedness on the issuer it is nothing but municipal debt securities and municipal bonds usi ke andar aate hain under municipal debt securities so municipal bond or muni bonds are issued by local government or municipality so if any municipality is issuing municipality is issuing uh, municipal bonds bonds or collecting money through the issue of bonds for creating infrastructure in the municipality in the local government then it is nothing but muni bonds right kisi agar municipality ko if they want money they can issue municipal bonds and collect money this is a debt instrument on the municipality or the local government right they have to take prior permission of the state government ab jo ye jo municipal debt securities hote hain they can be through public offer means general public ko investors ko ye offer karte hain all a private placement basis under private placement a group of person certain persons group of persons ko hi ye uh, diya jata hai ek right diya jata hai that you can apply to such bonds or such securities so when it is a public offer means general public ko all the investors are given a right to uh, right for municipal bonds right they can purchase such bonds private placement basis pe only a certain group of person private individuals are given the authority to subscribe to these bonds okay third and very important news rbi master direction on acquisition and holding of share and voting rights in banking companies so ab ek naya master direction aaya hai by rbi if any person wants to hold a certain share holding which is more than 5% stake in any bank they have to take prior approval of RBI okay so any person looking to acquire more than 5% stake in a bank will need prior approval from RBI and RBI ne isi ko hi bola hai major share holding so any person having a major share holding now what is this major share holding 
मोर देन फाइव परसेंट स्टेक इन बैंक उसको आरबीआई की अप्रूवल लेनी पड़ेगी ओके द डिसीजन ऑफ आरबीआई टू परमिट और डिनाई टू परमिट और to permit a lower number of shares will be binding on the applicant so suppose any applicant suppose any applicant wants 7.5% share in a bank they have to make an application to rbi and rbi will approve this but if rbi wants ki if rbi doesn't want to give a 7.5% share holding and let's suppose rbi wants a 4% share holding then the decision this decision Will be binding if RBI takes any such decision that lower share holding they can give, but not what you are asking for, not 7.5. Then this decision is RBI's decision, and this will be binding on the applicant. Okay. Okay. So after the application, once the application acquisition is done, एक बारी अगर acquisition हो गई, if after the acquisition the shareholding falls below five percent, let's suppose when you wanted to acquire, you were given a an acquisition of 5% but after a certain period after this acquisition the shareholding your shareholding falls below 5% then you have to reapply to rbi to have 5% stake see banks mein bahut sare frauds ho rahe hain and rbi wants to keep a check on everybody who is having a major shareholding in these banks right isliye rbi wants to keep a track right rbi wants to monitor everything That is why RBI has said कि अगर किसी की शेयर होल्डिंग फाइव परसेंट से कम भी हो जाती है एंड इन फ्यूचर यू वॉन्ट की फाइव परसेंट दोबारा हो जाए यू अगेन हैव टू गिव एन एप्लीकेशन टू आर बी आई सो द फ्रेश अप्रूवल फ्रॉम आर बी आई इफ द पर्सन इंटेंस टू अगेन रेज द एग्रीकेट कैपिटल टू फाइव परसेंट और मोर राइट नाउ हु इज इन एलिजिबल एफ ए टी एफ विच इज एन इंटर गवर्नमेंटल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड इट इज अ फाइनेंशियल वॉच डॉग राइट फॉर मनी लॉन्डरिंग like i said rbi wants to keep a track on who is having major shareholding in banks right so fatf ki ek non compliant jurisdiction list aati hai in which it has given certain a list of everybody every individual who or who you know because of certain criteria will be ineligible or will fall in the non compliant jurisdiction of fatf ab agar koi bhi fatf ki non compliant jurisdiction mein fall karta hai then they cannot apply for 5% right okay a bank should establish a continuous monitoring mechanism to ascertain that a major shareholder has obtained its prior approval like i said because of frauds rbi want to see rbi wants to keep a track and be a watchdog on whoever is having a major shareholding in banks that is why banks ko ye responsibility di gayi hai that you have to continuously monitor and you should have a continuous monitoring mechanism and see ki jis jis ke paas bhi 5% से ज्यादा की शेयर होल्डिंग है दे आर गेटिंग प्रायर अप्रूवल फ्रॉम द आरबीआई एंड ऑल्सो 5% ऑफ वोटिंग रेट दे हैव टू मेंटेन आरबीआई का अप्रूवल गिव आरबीआई का टेक आरबीआई का अप्रूवल ओके एग्रीगेट शेयर होल्डिंग ऑफ एंटिटीज सो अगर कभी ऐसा होता है कि द सो आरबीआई की गाइडलाइंस नहीं फॉलो हो रही राइट और इफ द अप्रूवल इज नॉट टेकन या फिर एग्रीगेट जो शेयर होल्डिंग है विच इज मोर देन फाइव राइट it is not in conformance with the guidelines of rbi then within 6 months jo ki rbi ke norms hain unko comply karna padega right for private banks jahan pe kin jin private banks mein there is a state and central government ka stake if any in, in any private bank there is a stake of state and central government the rbi will further prescribe what should be the dilution plan सो सेंट्रल और स्टेट गवर्नमेंट का क्या डायल्यूशन प्लान होगा और इवन जो प्राइवेट प्लेयर है हु वॉन्ट्स टू अक्वायर उनका क्या प्लान होगा आरबीआई विल फर्दर ब्रिंग इट इन टू नोटिस अगर किसी प्राइवेट बैंक में सेंट्रल या स्टेट गवर्नमेंट का शेयर है स्टेक है देन आरबीआई विल फर्दर प्रिस्क्राइब डिफ्रेंशिएटेड शेयर होल्डिंग डायल्यूशन प्लान डिफ्रेंशिएटेड शेयर होल्डिंग डायल्यूशन प्लान आरबीआई लेके आएगा राइट ओके दिस ब्रिंग्स अस टू दंड ऑफ द डिस्कशन लेट्स get started with the questions as per the recent rbi's master direction on acquisition and holding of shares in banks which of the following statements is that incorrect is that correct okay okay major share holding is defined as aggregate holding of 25% or more it is 5% or more of the paid up share capital rbi's decision to permit or deny acquisition of a stake in banks is binding on the applicant that is true 
After acquisition, if the shareholding falls below 25%, no, below 5%. तो उसको दोबारा फाइव परसेंट लाने के लिए इफ समबडी वांट्स टू यू नो ब्रिंग द शेयर होल्डिंग एग्रीगेट शेयर होल्डिंग टू फाइव परसेंट अगेन अ फ्रेश अप्रूवल फ्रॉम आरबीआई इज रिक्वायर्ड सो दिस इज फाइव परसेंट नॉट ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट ओके As per RBI guidelines on new umbrella entities, which of the following statements is are incorrect? NUE will work as an alternate, and in addition to NSC, no, NPCI. It will work as an alternate to NPCI. NUE will work with an aim to foster competition and de-risk India stock exchange mechanism. No, it is for retail payment, digital retail payment system, and not stock exchange mechanism. Entity eligible to apply as a promoter or promoter group for NBI can be owned and controlled by non-residents. No, they have to be controlled and owned by residents only. Okay. Next, as per RBI guidelines on new umbrella entity, what should be the minimum paid-up capital of NUE? This can be an important question, especially for prelims, right? Five hundred crore. Also, the net profit. This is an additional information. Net profit to be maintained. By the NUE is three hundred crore. The net profit to be maintained by the NUE is three hundred crore. Five hundred crore is the minimum shareholder capital, and net profit is three hundred crore to be maintained by the NUE. Which of the following statements is are correct about NPCI? NPCI is an umbrella organization that operates retail payment and settlement system. True. It is an initiative of RBI and NABARD. No, Indian Banking Association. Under the Payment and Settlement System Act, it is a not-for-profit organization registered under Section 8 of Companies Act 2013. True. Okay. This brings us to the end of the session. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.